Hey guys, how's it going? I got a real nice story here and a little bit of a haul video. So if you know anything about what I've been up to lately, you'll know that I've been really trying to expand my uh, revenue streams and also trying to figure out how I can sell my items in different avenues. So obviously Craigslist is kind of a no-brainer. Um, and like I said before, you know, I feel like a fool for not taking advantage of it sooner, but I recently moved, got a new place, and uh, I have a bit more freedom here, so I've been trying to branch out onto Craigslist and really see what I could do. So this stuff was all purchased total for 60 bucks. Uh, this is like a total home run. I got some great stuff, so I'm kind of interested in learning more about it. But in all honesty, I'm just going to get rid of this. I want that cash. So I'm going to try to flip these as quick as I can, get some good cash for them. I just want to start off with uh, the little guys first, and I'll get on to the uh, to the cameras. Got these, you know, not worth a whole lot. Maybe 30 bucks shipped for the pair. This guy, uh, Highland Tilt Amite. Not really sure how much that's worth. Got to do some more research on it, but again, it's all part of the lot. Got this Sunpack Auto 144. Um, really don't know too much about it. I looked it up probably 30 bucks shipped. It's in the box. It's complete. It's got the manual and everything, so that's good. Got this Minolta 16 camera. It's like a tiny little thing. Um, it's really weird looking. I saw this thing go for uh, a decent amount. If I remember correctly, it was like between 20 and 40. Uh, honestly, I don't remember though. Uh, this thing's really cool. It's like a tripod thing. It, it comes out. This kind of like pops out here, so that's kind of cool. And then you tighten it, and it's like a, it's like a tripod thing. So that's pretty awesome. I'm really not sure how much that's worth. Uh, if I were to guess, I'd say probably at least 20 But, hey, I guess we'll see. This guy, uh, put him in the lot. You know, he's maybe worth 5 bucks. This is some sort of thing to hold, an, hold the camera in place on a uh, tripod, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, here's some Kodak uh, lens cleaning paper. The paper itself is probably worth more than the, uh, the cleaning paper, but not really sure. Just put that in a lot. Here's some lenses. These are uh, Camaro close-up lens. Uh, it's all just like one big thing, so I don't know. It's in this. But, I mean, I don't know. I didn't see it sell for anything, so who knows. I guess I'll just probably throw that in the lot as well. Not really sure what this thing is. It says Mayflower. Um, really not sure. It, it looks pretty cool, though. Uh, you know, probably another one of those $20 items, if I had to say, uh, I guess. I got some of these. Uh, if I remember correctly, these are just for, like, if you want to take a picture with something, uh, without actually having to press the button, you can press this and it'll press the button for you. So, like, if you're far away from the camera, I think. Here's a nice, uh, here's a nice lens for the Pentax camera. Here's an AC adapter. You know, um, who knows, maybe maybe 15 shipped. I'll probably put this into the lot as well. We're getting into the more exciting stuff now, though. Here's a Pentax K1000. This is a good camera. Um, I've seen it go for about 100 bucks without this huge lens on it. This lens that's attached to it is a Hoya 55 millimeter skylight. I saw these go for about 50 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Could be. Uh, like I said, this lens as well, probably 50 bucks. So who knows? I might be able to put these together and get like 200, 250. That might be a bit high. Um, I'm really not too sure, but we got to test the waters. So I always start high and work my way down. The only thing I noticed about this camera is that it has a small dent there. And if you look on the bottom here, it has uh, a name lightly carved into there. can't even see it because it's so light. I don't know if you could maybe, like, sand that out, but I'm not really sure. So either way, um, that alone would have been a good score for 40 bucks. But as I was kind of, like, heading out, we were, like, finishing up our transaction... He said that he had two old cameras that he would throw in for ten each. And uh, I was like, okay, well, let's, uh, let's take a look at those. And 
he pulled these out of the car. And this one is a Kodak number one A folding pocket Kodak. Uh, I've seen these go for up to three hundred dollars. This one is a little bit beat. It's not perfect condition. It has an issue here with the uh, with this piece that's not attached. It's missing like one of those little pins to hold it on. But um, it's a really cool old piece. Uh, this part here, the folding part, is in really good condition, except for this one spot right here. There's a small tear. So I'm not really sure how much it's worth. If I were to guess, I'd say I could probably get a hundred out of it. Might take a while to sell at that price, but. I'm really not too sure, so we'll take a chance on that. Uh, this one, from what I gather, is a little bit more or less valuable. Maybe worth like 30 or 40 bucks, but it's in really good condition, and it, it works nicely. It folds down nicely. So I think this one will sell a little quicker, a little bit easier, but not quite for as much. I mean, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not really hitting that antique uh, collector market as much, you know. But the true gem of the whole entire uh, meeting... I think was these and I know I'm gonna butcher the name here but uh it's uh this is Carl Zeiss Jenna and that's like really high-end stuff I believe it's out of Germany uh, these are really expensive I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with these I think I'm probably going to put them on eBay maybe do like a 300 or best offer for the pair um, you know, I gotta do some more research, but either way, these, these are probably worth more than everything else combined. Um, again, I'm really not entirely sure. This is all new. Cameras, I've never sold a camera before, so, especially not a vintage camera or an antique camera. So this should be interesting, but all the stuff for 60 bucks, uh, that's a good day for me. So, I uh, just wanted to share this with you guys. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed, and you know. Hopefully you share the excitement. Uh, get out there on Craigslist. You know, there's lots of deals out there for you too, and uh, there's little gems out there like this. So get out there, take advantage of it, and uh, you know, find some deals and make some money. Make sure if you haven't, uh, please like this video. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment. You know, if, if you sold any camera stuff, found any camera stuff. If you know anything about vintage cameras, that would be great. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching.